It don't happen all my wonderfully made Biafra brothers and sisters. Say happy Sunday to you all and I welcome you all to this another episode of the karma that is holding Nigerians or the Nigerians down. Um, this is episode number two because here today we have a karma episode one. Today is karma episode two. On I still remember there is an adage in Igbo, lang- uh, Igbo language that says Onye ndiro baraburuburu neche ndu yanche. In this scenario now, we are not saying our one don't you? But the karma which started yesterday is now going round and round and round. The north now are in loggerhead with the southwest, courtesy of uh, Bola Amer Tunumbu. Now, two of these region now, the southwest and the north entirely, are looking for an alliance. The alliance they are looking for now, they are dragging it down, down to the south, which is the Igbos. Forget about the southwest. Let's just take it the south, which is uh, uh, the old eastern region. That is comprised of the southeast and the south-south. But these two people now that did not and the southwest want to get alliance with it, are not even interested in that alliance. And that is the reason why you see 2nd of December 2024 is very sacrosanct. And this fight between these two regions, the north and the southwest, is going to yield a very mighty fruit in the Biafran struggle, or rather the Biafra re- declaration of 2024, 2nd of December. Go and mark my word in one place. They may not agree literally to give us Biafra. It may not be in their best interest to do it. They may not be in agreement to let the Southeast go. But this their fight now is what is going to make this our struggle very, very easy. Because in fact, we are going to, we are going to just sail just like a very mighty uh, yacht on the high sea. That is how we just, just sail away to the uh, to our own nation, which is the Biafra nation. Anyway, I don't like to take you uh, take much of your time. We're gonna see this headline: Tunumbu don't wipe the northern politicians. Our southwest one not over comments on separation. So the north now, as they want to look for alliance with the southeast, southeast in the Hikaba, and they are not hold of the southwest now. They, what they are shouting now is Araba, 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 and that Araba. It's going to be a in fact it's going to be a beneficial and deciding point for the Biafrans. And that is where we are waiting for them. Now I the chosen a penalty box now. We're waiting for them at the penalty box. So whatever they kick, either they kick the go left or they kick go right. The only thing they can do is just to solidify the silence of Biafra to their nation. But whether they agree or not, we are on our way home. So let us just listen to this, my brother from another mother, Mazi Christian, who always dare to analyze these things the way it is. Don't forget, like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. Let us go there. That since the advent of democracy, since 1999, Nigeria have not experienced this kind of division, even with the civil war. I don't think that we have experienced this kind of division, hatred amongst the various major ethnic tribes because of politics. Today it is now the Hausa hating, the Northerners hating, hating the Yoruba man because of, unquote, the policies of Tunubu that is hitting them hard. The Northerner once said that let's, it's better we separate. It's better that we separate. We don't need to stay together. That is a Northerner. The prominent person saying such a thing, we know that the Igbos already have made up their mind, their stand is their stand that they don't be part of Nigeria, they want out. But the Yorubas are singing a different tune at this point in time with their body language. Now they are saying that until Tunubu finishes his eight years before we can talk about any division. I know that Northerners that are calling for separation are doing so because of Tunubu. They don't really want to separate but the hatred has been registered no matter what we know that the north and the southwest have been in bed over the years 
and they are using that to suppress the southeast and all other minority tribes in the south south we know that but i am very happy with this their fight and such a clash such a disagreement don't always go away lightly like that the north is waiting patiently for 2027 if they don't succeed 2027 they are going to wait patiently for 2031 so as to put a northerner in power and this northerner would reverse everything Tinubu has done which the north believe that they are suffering from Tinubu's government look at what just happened with the children and look at the politics that the northerners are playing they believe that they are born to rule i know this is this is being sponsored by politicians elite politicians in the north now for the southwest and Igbos, the shock Obi winning Tinubu, beating Tinubu in his backyard. These political uh, guys, these Yoruba political lords, they have not recovered from it. They have not recovered from that defeat that Obi handed over to Tinubu in Lagos. That is why, after the presidential election, the governorship election, they made sure, they made sure. They went to all polling units and local government to give them a tax, not to allow what happened during the presidential election to repeat itself. You saw how Sonolu won in a landslide. Because when we talk about elections in Nigeria, we don't do elections. This is like marking your territory. People have been sold lies over and over again. During the last elections, people were not willing to come out to vote, but some men who believe that. They understand what voting is came and they convinced a lot of people told you that if you allow these people if you don't come out and vote they will have a chance to rig elections if you don't do this this they will have a chance to win, win elections that's why so many youths came out to register for their voters card the, the crowd for the voters card was one of the highest in nigeria's history so many youths trooped out to vote despite the fact that they voted APC had their way, INEC had their way in broad daylight. These people are loyal to their interest than to the right of an average Nigerian. That is the system we are working on, we are practicing, we are hoping on today. So ever since that defeat, APC have been going up and down in all nooks and crannies where they lost to the Labour Party and in quotes an evil man, they are making sure that they are marking and securing those territories. Many people with Igbo names were prevented from voting and were prevented voters card. If you go to get voters card, this plan, this uh, manipulation, we know it before. Eh? They intentionally do these things. I've said it and over and over again. If you are built to collect your voters card, you have a name, Igbo. And you are in a southwest state to collect your voters card it will be difficult for them to give you when they look at that name they look at is it this one and this one chukudi yeah chukudi chukudi you want to collect voters card their officials will make sure that they make life difficult for you and at the end of the day you are frustrated not to collect that voters card in the north they took voters card to them in their houses Yes, because they believe that the old order did not will vote for APC. So the APC government at that point in time wanted to make sure that everyone that would potentially vote for APC would have a voter's card. While in the East, they were struggling with one or two INEC officials to get their voter's card. Young people, students came out, trooped out en masse. Students trooped out en masse to collect voter's card. They could not get voters card. But in another region, the region, region that is complaining now, they took voters card to their homes. We saw how voters cards were dumped in sewages, in gutters. Were dumped as voters card was thrown away. And when you look at the names, mainly these names cover a certain region because the ABC knows that the Southeast, the, 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 the Southeast will not vote for them. So all those games, the APC played it, and despite them playing that game, they were shocked to the marrows. They thought that they were going to win that election, presidential election, easily in Lagos State. 
they were shocked to the matter that even Yoruba has voted against President Bola Tunubu. That's why we have the popular saying that says the people did not vote Tunubu. Tunubu snatched it, grabbed it, and is running with it. We don't know what he's even doing with it. That thing that he snatched, grabbed, and is running away with. These differences, these issues, this thing that I just said now, will eventually lead to the division of the country. It is just a little seed of hatred that is being sown. So after P2B won Tinubu, they started going online to sow seed of discourse, discord, hatred. Politicians started moving to different platforms to demarket P2B, ego and obedience. Remember the end bad governance protest that was even headed by Chore. Chore came out and said, Chore was very, very much active, but they intentionally ignored Chore and they pointed their hands to P2B and obedient and ego. They said the Labour Party is an ego party. They were bringing this division, seed of discord, division. They were planting it between Yoruba and ego. Because of that, they were resurrected. Because of Tungu lost election in Lagos State, they resurrected old wounds and they started bringing it, trying to convince their people that next time don't vote for this man. Is a man is bad, is this that is the politics the southwest played against the boats. Now, things are going south. The evil that the southwest was planning for P2B is coming back at them. Now the north is taking a stand against the southwest. They say the southwest are betrayers. These guys are betrayers. They were expecting to to gain from the southwest, that's why the fact that they know is they are hypocrites. You see, these people that are in bed together, go the southwest and the north, there's nothing different from them. They are, they are two of them are hypocrites. The north is crying out today that they are suffering under Tungu's regime. When Buhari was there, what did he not say? If you attack Buhari, the southwest now will use their media to shut you down, they will not say anything. They were playing brother my brother let me hold your back the southwest will hold back of buhari they will not antagonize buhari they will not criticize buhari they will just stay at his back wanting to defend anybody that say buhari is this right that they will want to block that person why they not have their day now it is tungu's turn just within one year tungu replicated what buhari did in his eight years Fulanization of all the posts. Now, Tunubu has come to Europe and nice all the posts. ABC introduced a kind of politics that will eventually destroy Nigeria. You see Yoruba people everywhere. The same thing happened with Buhari. So why is the North angry? Why are they complaining? The North will remember. What will you remember? Remember that you have leaders that have failed you. So my point, what one reason why I did broadcast is in Lagos, there's uh, a report. A Jeremy fellow the local government, they renamed streets. They started renaming streets, and these streets had Igbo names. We have Imo is a street that was renamed to Laiwala Street. Uh, we have uh, Oyikere Street, Yeye, Yeye Iretiola Street, uh, Emodi Deliverance Street, Achapu, Iwule, Hostel Road. Ewedike Street, renamed to Ade Emi Samuel Street, Eze Street, Mobilat Arukudade, we have Eze Street, Erelu, Mojisola, Benoyeka Street, Mukaila, Kolawole. So now the Lagos State Government with the uh, with the speakership of Obasa, they are renaming streets that were Igbo names before. So Yoruba names, that is conservatism. That is the next level that we are going. It is bit by bit. Everybody will start doing one or two things that will eventually lead to their own undoing. The Southwest think that this conservatism that they are running, hmm, nobody has monopoly of conservatism. Yes. Now the tax bill, the North are saying that this tax bill is an affront, is premeditated against the North because they know that the North is not that productive. They want to make the Southwest, especially Ogun State and Lagos State, 
much more rich, richer in revenue. In revenue. So the taxes being paid, they will retain more of the taxes where the companies that produce all these things that other countries are using, other states are using, they will get more from the revenue. Thereby starving other regions that don't have industries. Because Ogo State has largest industry, largest deposit of industries. The southwest were there planning and planning. People were carrying, look at bringing investment into the southwest. Bringing investment. Bringing investment. Now, this is the result of it. This is the result of it. The southwest is well positioned now, now that Tungu is in power. He will pass policy bills that will favor the Southwest Tana. And with this, he's going to win the heart of the Southwest. But one thing that people don't know is that, you see, even though Tingu, he's going to spend eight years. And so in North Tana, who has seen all that Tingu has done, comes in, he's the commander in chief of the armed forces. He will just take a meeting with stakeholders to reverse most of these things, most of these policy bills. He will take a meeting. The North, the North are looking for a way to have alliance with the Southeast to deal with the Southwest because the Southwest knows that only the North cannot get the presidency and only the Southwest cannot get the presidency. The North knows this, the South knows this. Small time, the North will be threatening the South to remove this person. They know that the Southeast don't like any of them. Everybody is just standing on their lane, they are marking their own lane. The Southwest attacking the North, the North attacking the Southwest that we are waiting. You people are hypocrites, you are betrayers, you are waiting for 27. Southwest say, we don't care about presidency. Eh? We must pass law that will benefit everybody and be benefit us for the better good. You have lazy governors, lazy leaders, they should go and look at the drawing board. You have arable land, you have enough things to make your region better, but you are sitting down there and saying, South with this South, and uh, not to remember. The South is are just folding hands, they are looking. Go to your politicians. Nobody saying anything. Through bring stars, tax bill. It's going to affect the South because it's going to affect the South because how many industries do you have in the Southeast? That is having national outlook. The industry you have in the Southeast will serve the Southeast's needs. But how many of these industries do you have that is going to go as far as the North, Southeast, the North, the Northeast, the Northwest, the South, South, the Southwest, from the Southeast? We know that Southeast has industries, but how many of these industries have a national spread? We have them in Ogun State, we have them in Lagos. How many federal government developments are in Southeast? One major development. Is it the second India Bridge? Is that a development or investment? We have them in the Southwest. We have them in Lagos and Ogun states. So the Southeasterners are folding their hands. They want Nigeria are folding their hands and looking at everything. While the North and the Southwest fight themselves. Renaming streets because you lost an election or because somebody is pushing you to say or is telling you that these people want to take, take your land, they want to do this, they want to do that, you want to, because of you want to lay hold of the political structure. You thought that, these guys thought that they were in charge of the structure until P2B happened to them. They now start saying, uh, Ama Ronu, Yoruba Ronu, Yoruba Conservative. If you start like this, if you continue like this, other people are watching. Remember, what Lagos only has is investment, federal government investment in Lagos. The IGR, is not, the IGR they are getting is not from natural resource. There's no crude oil here. There's nothing to point like this is what we are digging from the ground that is giving Lagos revenue. Dangote pays high revenue. Dubai Jebu pays high revenue. You are getting revenue from industrialists, people that, from industries you have, the investment of other people get you are getting IGR from the investment of other people and these people, most of them are not necessarily from the southwest. Now, population helps Lagos. And again, Lagos as an entity, if today Nigeria divides, the funds that were coming in, into Lagos 
would have reduced. You don't have binary resources. Okay, you want to leverage on the state. Yes, that's a good one. At the end of the day, everybody will start protecting their uh, mineral resource. Since yours is we can we get Lagos. That is the idea. That is what you are trying to message you're trying to pass. Then somebody in Bayelsa will tell you that this is my oil. This is my oil, and we get them. Your man should not be working in oil companies because most oil companies are being run by Yorubas, the and Northerners. If you go to other extract Delta State. These oil companies, look at those that are working in these oil companies. It's very hard for you to see Igbos, if not those that have connection from one senator. Igbo working in oil company, connection will be from one senator now, or from one person, from one this or that, from one community chief and everything. But normally, those that top the population that work in oil companies are Yorubas. So they, they can start from these their installations. We don't want anybody that is not our indigene to manage inspirations, you all should go back to your Everybody will be separating little by little. From name, it will enter, name of streets, it will enter jobs in Lagos State. I told you before that these people are going to legislate tribalism. Lagos State is going to legislate tribalism. Which other states will copy? Everybody will now have to focus on their various states. Gradually, you are moving towards state control of resources is that we do it by hook or by crook so because through lost election you want to divide nigeria it is good for us because now it's like changing names from wherever to wherever from shekina to Tunubu. it doesn't bother anybody i heard that most of these people did not renew that's the so government has every reason ah, don't you know government they have every reason how they can go through the back door and achieve their aim. They must have a reason eh, for doing what they are doing. Even though it's evil, they have a reason for doing what they are doing. Okay, these people did not renew their names. Chebi, you that are your evil man, you don't want to invest in the Southeast. Your C of, C of O is in the, is you are the mercy of the governor. Eh, of the governor, a robot governor of another state. You know some people they don't get sense they will get sense very soon better look home if you're an equal person look back home the insecurity in the land is making people not come back everybody join hands and make sure that we start investing in the southeast that is the best bet now most industries have been taken away from the southeast to other places look at obi kubana uh, uh, obi kubana yes it's ketemwara investment do you know what it means to to to, to run that kind of a thing you think it's a one day's job? If he's going to even bring it back to the southeast, there are so many factors. So as you are looking at these people taking over everything from you through legislation, through their lawmakers, the state lawmakers, make sure you use your sense. Whatever you make, what you make, try and reason your home. Your home is your home. Nigeria is slowly dividing because everybody is marking their territory. I know that the fight between the north and the southwest will not end. Tunubu will be the end of APC. Tunubu be watching. Will not end. And Tunubu is a stubborn person. I like what he's doing to the north. He should continue more fire. Nobody should reverse any any tax. Lagos, I support it. Anywhere that industry is, the industry is, that industry should have more of the revenue. Let other governors sit down and think on how they can improve their region, their states. We are breeding lazy, lazy governors, especially the most foolish ones in the Southeast. Most foolish ones in the Southeast, sitting down there and doing nothing. No, reas no reasonable thing they are doing. I've said it before. I will make sure that we we'll, we'll start fighting people that go into the Southeast and saying, mm, uh, Okoto Ekene is the one in our spray money. Mm. Odogu, there's no single Odogu in the Southeast. When the Southeast is backward, there is no single Odogu in the Southeast. You are Odogu in your father's house. You are Odogu in your father's house. You people need to learn your lessons. These people are making sure that they strip you off of some of the things. They make sure that they uproot you little by little. It, it's going to be little by little. It's going to be little by little. They'll be uprooting with small, small. 
will be approaching you and make sure that you don't have any relevance. They want to control their jobs, they want to control their markets, everything that they can fix their people in to make sure that what happened in 2003 will not repeat itself again. They are saying Igbo must go. They are telling you in all their actions. They might not be saying it, but through their actions, you can see. Everybody is now, all these Yoruba guys are now rooting for Bansak, the Speaker of Lagos State House of Assembly, as the next governor because of his tribalistic tendencies. They call it conservatism. You are being tribal, a tribalist. Those that have the name of those streets, is it by free? Does Lagos give you anything free? Don't you work for it? What, what is the free thing that Lagos is giving to their people? I, want, I just want to ask. What is that free thing that Lagos is giving to their people? All these people that are coming out to form their gaban, uh, Igbo, is Igbo, they will take the house, they will do this. What is it that Lagos is doing for its people? Free! Infrastructure decay. Man, with all the money, Lagos is sh supposed to be more than this. But you are hearing a man who is much more interested in securing their political tentacles. You see how they are destroying the uh, Badebo Vivo roads, who is more legation than all of them. It's because they don't want to lose that power. You see, that power is not about you as an Yoruba man. It's about them gaining that power. Hmm? It's about them. They want to keep on being there. They don't want anything. They were surprised. That's why they had to. Uh, uh, Shomulu had to go from church to church. Beg. Hey, he was shocked. He was shocked. Went to do Usher. Went to do Baba. Was not begging people. Blah, blah, blah. While he was holding people, while people from the ancestors were still in prison and he's aware of it, he still went with that knowledge and went on to still beg these <laughs> ah, like, uh, politicians. Politicians. God, God help you people. Please, let us continue your good work. Continue your good work so that the egos can learn. And go back. The house has you are pretending to be you want to separate Nigeria. Be there when is time real time when to go second time time reach then that thing hmm, that makes you do like this will have been cut off by then. So that is the end of the news from Marzi Christian of the Biafran uh, Media Space. Anyway, here are the comments that, that we are going to dissect as we round up the show. At Michael Daniel said, we in the southeast, we are not far. I'm sorry, we are not after Nigeria election or politics. We are fighting for our freedom, and that freedom is here already. According to A.K. Gideon said, good analysis. I hope more people will tune in. Iyana just said. This is a first class analysis. Emeka Ogene said, Great analyst. Kinsele Ubuka said, Truth, uh, Truthfully. So, my bro, Ibos should wise up now. At Tidebere, one eri, he go clear for their eyes very soon. At Mongunu said, uh, Will uh, will add different people and culture, language, European nation now. Will which one people will? Hey, hey, hey. Pali FFB said uh, this is a good one. Or uh, if this country remind reminds uh, without dividing this country, uh, this problem is going to continue. So it's better this country go their separate ways. If we remain with this one Nigeria, we can never get correct database in this country, and a country without database will remain in darkness. You can never know your citizens' population in that country. So, for we together uh, with the northern part or northern part of the Nigeria, we never make this country forward. To be honest with our people, is to divide Nigeria. Everyone go their separate ways. It's just the best thing to do, according to this, our brother. Uh, good guy said, uh, Oga Nigeria, Oga Nigeria is coming to an end on December 2nd, 2024. That is your own personal opinion. At Starflame said, I love your analysis. But point of correction, there is nothing like uh, minority tribes. Those so-called minority tribes were uh, split de deliberately by the rulers of one Nigeria. Now, what in this, our brother, Tokusha. Anyway, now here we go, take, uh, take Andy Tolabego. If you need more of this uh, 
uh, comment just log on to www.youtube.com then type mazi christian you get the whole information where is in need for this matter anyway like share comment and make sure you keep subscribing for more interesting videos